a book I thought I would never read. I was in the audience of a Monday Night Live for Greg from another Bibliophile Reads and Alan from Big Hard Books and Classics. And somewhere in the comments, Bad is Rad commented about a book that she was reading called Geek Love. And she piqued my interest so much so that curiosity killed the cat. And um, I went ahead and I read that book. So um, what did I think of that? book. Well, it is definitely one of the strangest books that I have ever read. Um, you know, for originality, I'm, I'm going to give it a four. I don't know if it's horror related. Um, I, I wasn't very scared by it, um, but I can see throughout the book, you know, little um, parts of the story that are laced with oddities, weirdness, um, discomforts, things that might make you a little uneasy. First, let me tell you a little bit about the characters. We'll start with Al and Lil Benuski. That is mom and dad, and they are in a traveling circus. And when the circus seems to fall on hard times, they get the brainy idea that they will breed their own crew for their own kind of traveling carnival circus escapade. So, so in order to do this, they need to create humans that have characteristics about them that will bring in the dough. And how do, how do we do that? Um, we have to create an, a presence of curiosity. Okay, so the mom and the dad decide that they're going to do this through drugs. And they breed offspring that definitely possess those characteristics. We have Iffy and Ellie, who are Siamese twins, Arturo, Aqua Boy, who has flippers for hands and feet. We have Olympia, who is an albino hunched back dwarf. And she in turn uh, breeds Miranda, who was born with a tail, a little tail. Um, and so the story definitely takes off from there. There's, there's a lot to um, go with based on these characters. So we have Arturo, who is trying to, in his um, coming of age, he is trying to start a cult um, by having other people who join this cult sever off their limbs to be more like him. So we have some toes and some fingers and some other body parts that are being chopped off. And each time members of this cult have a part chopped off, they become more and more, more and more excited because they're becoming more and more like Aqua Boy. Then we have Aqua Boy who ha -ha, um, has incest with his sister, Olympia. And that's how Miranda came about. Miranda does not know that Olympia is her mother and she does not know that Arturo is her father. Okay. Then we have Chick who is the normal one. Uh, the most normal looking one. Chick does have telekinetic powers though. Story definitely is strange. This story is unlike anything that I have ever read before. And, you know, it's not something that I would typically generate to towards, but because I was so like Greg had read it and Bad as Rad had read it. So as they were discussing parts of it without giving anything away, it was enough to make me want to, to read this. And um, although it's typically not my speed, 
I don't always read things that are. I am one for uh, stepping outside of the box. I'm a firm believer in reading all of the things because you just never know what's going to strike your fancy. This did not strike my fancy, but it did qualify as one of the strangest books that I have ever read. If you are looking for strange, if you are looking for unsettling, if you are looking for, um, is it a challenge? Yeah, it, in some ways it's a challenge. If you're looking for, you know, something that is very, very different, I think that Catherine Dunn's novel will check all of your boxes. It took Catherine Dunn a very long time to write this book, years. She said it was her very own autism as she was contemplating writing this. It was at a time in her life where she was heavily thinking about nature versus nurture. And she was very interested in cults and how they come about and what makes people want to become a part of one and how are they manipulated in the sense that they can be controlled. So based on that, Catherine was able to create this very unique novel. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, let me know if you have read it before. What did you think? I'm going to give it a four for uniqueness. Um, I think it did its job as far as unsettling one's mind. Um, let me know. What did you think about it? And if you haven't read it, maybe, you know, maybe consider pick or, picking it up. Until we meet again, know that I love you, be well, be good, be reading, and may all your dreams come true.